Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. You know, yesterday's market closed with a record high on the S&P 500 market, 70th record-breaking close of the year. You'd actually have to go back to 1995 to get more record-setting days for the S&P 500. In that year, there were 77 record highs, but maybe we'll get a 71st at least today. For more on that, let's get, head over to Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery for the market action. Seems like there's green across the board, at least on the major indexes, right, Jared? That's right, and we already hit an intraday high on the S&P 500 and the Dow. And as you said, yesterday was a record day, record closing day for the S&P 500, also for the equal weighted. And that kind of speaks as to the breadth of the current market uh, dynamics here. And you can see the Dow really holding on to some small gains. So is the S&P 500. NASDAQ is really the star of the day here, kind of took a backseat to the Dow yesterday. So uh, kind of seesawing here, uh, taking turns with the lead. Uh, the Russell 2000, it's been flagging for at least a day or two. That is actually the leader, and that is up eight tenths of a percent. Also, want to take a look at the Nasdaq 100 heat map because this was all red or mostly red in the mega caps this morning. So we're seeing some green here. Nice to see Nvidia up over one percent, Tesla down six tenths of a percent, Amazon and Facebook each up more than half a percent. And if we sort by performance, <clears throat> interesting phenomenon here. Uh, I've been tracking a lot of our leaders and sentiment indicators. China has been top of that list just because it's gotten <clears throat> so beaten down lately. Now, Baidu, NetEase, those are the two top performers in the NASDAQ today, each up 7%. Then we see Pinduoduo and JD up about 6 7% apiece. Uh, so that's not the only sector that I'm looking at. These are my canaries, my leaders. KWeb is that Chinese internet ETF that we've been tracking. A lot of those names are in there. But then ARC, ARC has been flagging. It was down yesterday. MJ is a cannabis EP ETF. That's up 3%. TAN, that's a solar ETF. IPO, bets, XRT, that's retail, biotech. And it's really nice to see a lot of these outperforming because they simply haven't. And you wanna see something really interesting. This is a SPAC uh, group that I just kind of constructed somewhat arbitrarily arbitrarily as some of the year's biggest winners and losers. They're all up today, every single one of them. You take a look at what's happened during the month and it, a lot of them have just been obliterated, cut by a quarter, some even more. And you take a look at the year to date, kind of a mixed picture. So uh, over the last month, a lot of these SPACs have been flagging, but just kind of signaling the risk appetite that I'm seeing creep back in the market. Also want to check out our travel sector, and I'm going to put this back to our intraday view. Lots of green on the screen here. So nice to see perhaps some fears of Omicron fading, Brian. 